السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to welcome back no welcome to the new course for beginners uh, we call it the ikra course ikra means to read okay if this course is for anyone that has zero knowledge of the Arabic language okay you're starting from zero you don't know the letters of the Arabic language okay if you find yourself in that situation this course is for you okay we're gonna go through six books okay six short books okay to help you e to, to ease your learning in the Arabic language, okay? Starting with the simple letters, and then we move on to the combinations, so on and so forth. By the end of the course, I can assure you that you can read the Arabic language, or re you can read Arabic words and so on, okay? So not to worry. So first things first, okay? When Before we start reading Arabic words, we need to know the Arabic letters, okay? And we can find the Arabic letters in this book, Okay, we can find the Arabic letters in this book. If you want a download of this PDF, it's available to, uh, it will be made available for you. Okay, there'll, there'll be a download download uh, link for you and you can download and you can get this book inshallah. Okay, so let's go through the book together. So we'll skip all, all the boring part. Okay, now we're on page number 11 and let's go through it quickly inshallah. Okay. So the first two letters in the Arabic language that we are introduced with is this letter over here. It looks like a stick. Uh -huh. Looks like a stick. Okay, and then he, it has something like that on top of it with this vowel sign. Okay, so in the Arabic language, we have a couple of vowel signs. Vowel signs are these things on top of it. Okay, and it gives you an indication as to how you're supposed to pronounce it. Okay. So, just as an introduction, you need to take note of a couple of vowel signs. The first one, if it's on top, like that, okay? The second one, if it's below, like that. And the third one, if it's curved, like this, okay? Just at this moment, just uh, just uh, remember these three first, okay? If it's at the top, you call it a fatha. Okay, if it's at the bottom, we call it a kasra. If it's at the top, like this curly line, we call it a dhamma. Okay. So, fatha, kasra, and dhamma. So, now in these two letters, we see, we see the fatha, okay, and the fatha again. Okay, so this letter, how do you pronounce this letter? This is a. Okay, a, as in apple, as in apple, the A sound, a. okay, apple, a. so if I were to ask you, how do you read this, you will say, a. if I say, what letter is this, uh -huh. what's the name of the letter, we would say, this is the letter alif, okay, letter alif, so what's the name of the letter? It's Elif. What's the sound of the letter? A. Okay. Now this one. What's the name of the letter? This is the letter B. Okay. What's the sound of the letter? Same thing. The sound is the same. B. Okay. What's the name? B. What's the sound? B. Okay. Or maybe the sound should be like this. B. Okay. B. So alif and ba and you recite it as a and ba. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's try to practice. Let's try to practice. Should be easy for us. Let's practice this page. Okay, let's try to read every single thing. So this is ba a ba a ba a ba a a. Okay? Very easy. A uh, okay, we should speed up a little bit. Ba, ba, a, a, ba, ba. Okay, let's move down. Continuing from here. Okay, should shouldn't be that difficult. Ba, a, ba, a, ba, a, 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 ba, 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 a, ba, a, ba, a, ba. Very easy. Okay, so that's it for this page. See you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.
Okay, we continue with the next page on book number one for Iqra. Shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, now we're introduced with another letter, and it's this one. And it has two dots. Okay, it looks like the ba, but now instead of the dot below, it's two dots on top. Okay, this is the letter ta. Ta, and the sound it makes is ta. Okay, ta. This is the letter ba, and the sound it makes is ba. Okay, this is letter T, and the sound it makes is T. Very easy. Okay, so let's go through. Let's go through it together, inshallah. So we have A, T, B, T, B, A, T, A, B, A, B, T, B, T, A, T, oh, sorry, A, T, B, T, A, T, ba a ta okay a ta ba ta ta a very easy a ba ta a ba ta very easy okay let's power through the next page we can do quick okay now we have another letter and it has three dots now it looks almost the same as the ba and ta now it has three dots on top now this is what we call the letter tha okay there. This could be a challenging letter for some of you because when you pronounce it, when you pronounce it, let's just, just remember, uh, just uh, imagine that this is your lips, okay, from the side view. This is your two lips. I'm not good in drawing, okay? <laughs> okay, your two lips. So when you're pronouncing, the tip of your tongue has to exit your mouth a little bit. There, 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 there. Okay, this is the letter there. It makes the there sound. The reason we put the T is to indicate that your tongue has to stick out a little bit. Tha, tha, tha. Okay, tha, tha. Very easy. Okay, let's read it. Tha, tha, as in the letter three, three. Exactly, you, you exaggerate the pronunciation of three. Okay, you stick out your tongue. So, tha, tha. Okay, tha, a, ba. Very easy. Okay, very easy, not that difficult. Okay, so see you on the next one, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.